A by-election is looming in Birmingham Erdington on the 3rd of March, following the sudden death of Labour MP Jack Dromey. Labour has selected Paulette Hamilton, an NHS nurse of 25 years, a serving councillor on Birmingham City Council for the last 17 years, and is the current Cabinet Member for Health and Social Care. Two impressive credentials, you might think. The NHS would be safe in her hands, you might think. Well... In 2018, Hamilton attempted to get Fairway Day Centre closed. This was a facility used by 50 elderly and special needs adults. Birmingham City Council, with Councillor Hamilton at the helm, wanted to close it down, claiming it was underutilised and would cost £400,000 to repair. It was ultimately blocked by the High Court after lawyers successfully applied for a judicial review, claiming an inadequate consultation had taken place. Now, despite her credentials as an NHS nurse, last year she tweeted out support for Matt Hancock, of all people, saying how he passionately spoke on the importance of health whilst discussing social care and a move towards ICSs, or integrated care systems. ICSs might sound great if you take them to imply that areas of health would be working together to deliver deliver better care services, but in reality they come together to be rewarded on the basis of how much of the services they can cut from a shared budget. And this is what helps the private sector grow instead. This is a project that comes straight from the private sector in the US, growing their power and benefiting them at the expense of our services. It's privatisation via destruction of the NHS by stealth. And Hamilton, being 25 years a nurse, being the health and social care uh, cabinet member on BCC, should damn well know it. Now, if you think, well, Labour wouldn't do that, surely, despite their praise of the idiot Hancock. That is because you don't remember New Labour's commitment to closing services. And just a month earlier, she had praised a meeting she had with New Labour relic Jackie Smith, looking at developing integrated care, primary care, and their place in an ICS. Labour are as committed to these integrated care systems as the Tories are, because they are, in fact, a project developed by New Labourite Alan Milburn with the United States in the 2000s. There really is nothing between them again now, not even on health. In Paulette Hamilton, you have just another careerist who is trading on their NHS credentials. Well, actually, she sees care services from a local up to a national level as assets to be stripped, not a facility to benefit all, that health is a right, that our health services are in a dire state, and instead of pledging to reverse that, is committed to more of it. A real vote in Birmingham Erdington to save the NHS and to promote real change away from Tory dogma is not one for Labour, it's one for the People's Alliance of the Left, and a vote for Tusk candidate Dave Nellis, a real long-term NHS campaigner.